All right, so this is the 11th problem in the grind 75. This is lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree. And this is going to be the solution video. Um, so just a refresher, given a BST, find the lowest common ancestor node of two given nodes in the BST. Um, so what that basically means is for two given nodes, P and Q, we want to find the node that is the closest in common to them. So going through the examples again, two and six, their closest ancestor is six. This problem allows for a node to be an ancestor, or I guess a descendant of itself. In the case that P is equal to two and Q is equal to four, the least or lowest common ancestor would be considered two. Um, and we looked through the constraints in the attempt video, um, but we made some pretty significant errors. One being, we immediately forgot that this tree was a binary search tree. Um, so what we actually need to do is maybe write down key bits of the problem so we remember. Once we read the problem description, it seems like we pretty much only look at examples and um, the notes that are right here. So on top of that, we also overcomplicated the approach. And in my attempt video, I was trying to, you know, use a hash map where the keys would be nodes and then it would have a list of all the children. But if we look at this tree as a binary search tree, instead of just a tree with randomly distributed values, as I was sort of approaching the problem last video, we can see that this problem is actually probably the easiest problem we've done on late code so far. Um, because I will actually just write out the solution and it'll be pretty clear. So if p.val is greater than root root.val and q.val is greater than root.val, then we're going to want to recurse down the right side root dot right else if p dot val is less than root dot val and q dot val is less than root dot val then we're going to want to recurse down the left side now Or else we are just going to return the root. And we can go through a few examples to see why this makes sense. So if we have two nodes, say two and eight, and they are both of them are on opposite sides, meaning they're not both on the right or they're not both on the left, then we know that the parent must be in between them. And so that's what we would return. If we were to look at example two, where we have two and four, we're going to see if they're both on the right or the left. They are in fact both on the left from the root. But then once we get down to two, we're going to see that both of them are not on the right or the left. So we know that we have found the lowest common ancestor. And I believe if I had thoroughly understood that this was a binary search tree beforehand, I may have been able to come up with this algorithm, but because I had lost that piece of information, 
while I was going through the process of coming up with an algorithm, then I overcomplicated things and I came up with an algorithm that didn't even work. So in the future, I will read it slowly. I will take notes of things, maybe even if I don't find them necessary in the beginning. And I will make sure to refer to those notes while I am solving the problem so that I don't miss out on any information because most likely you will need every part of the problem description in order to come up with the optimal solution. So that is the solution to the 11th problem in the grind 75.